sent a message saying I'm already on a CDS mask. There's nothing to do for you. Have you joined the... Okay, you've joined the live. How come I'm not even seeing... Can you hear me? Very well. Okay. <laughs> How are you doing? Very well. How are you doing? Uh, I'm great. So so good to have you here. Uh, I, I was sincerely apologize. I do have a few minutes late. Actually, I'm on the road. I had to just <laughs> get somewhere to park so that we okay. could just uh, do this. I, I sincerely apologize. I, I, I'm so sorry. I'm okay. so sorry. Uh, I, I know that you're a professional, you're a stickler for time, and that's why I just say, honestly, I just have to apologize. So sorry, please. Uh, so, 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 so good to have you here um, on Get Your Energy Back and uh, Performance Accelerator. I have seen all the work that you have been putting out there. Great, 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 great stuff. Honestly, Thank I you. appreciate all the, the content that you are putting out there. And that's why I just said, look, I just have to do a live with Chioma. Let her um, talk to us and let us in into her world. And part of the great work that you are doing. Uh, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for, for, for being here. I'll just quickly read your profile so that we just get uh, straight into it. Um, Chioma isn't one for the, uh please i get that correctly the pleasure right <laughs> all right uh Joma Izawa for is an award-winning journalist with nigeria info fm she is also a gender communications and digital media consultant a former head of news at nigeria info fm cool fm and wazobia, wazobia fm in port harcourt she is among 50 African women in media celebrated for working actively in media and journalism across Africa. She is also a TEDx speaker and UN 75 speaker. She is married with three kids. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Chioma, for, for being here this evening. Um, you do so, 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 so much. Uh, all these things that you are doing and then you still have the time to put out great stuff online i have been I, I i was assure you that i've been blessed by so many of the stuff that that you put out there and i just want to say uh, the lord is your strength and continue to keep your hands lifted um, i know that you have 
um, an online course coming out very very soon right to sell uh, which you are promoting online and everything and one thing that always hits me about your content is that every time i see your post you immediately get my attention. I, I will say that you immediately get my attention. And that's why immediately I saw you put out your course there, which is coming up very soon. And you said that this is available. And for this amount, I didn't even think twice about it. I immediately signed up for the course. I said, look, I have to learn from you how you are able to get uh, put out that content that you know, just immediately grabs the attention of people. So we're going to be coming back to that very soon as in talking about your online course coming out and everything i i just um, maybe just give us a little bit of insight into your world journalism broadcasting um your doing online courses and all that i think let's just start from there thank you so much Kyle. i also yeah. would say what your what i would have said to you is what you're saying to me because your your greed is a grid of inspiration you know going through your grid is is so inspiring it's been inspiring thank for you me. So much. and thank uh, i you think so much. You, you put in a lot of effort and a lot of um, impact is being made and that's really important and something to learn from especially for the conversation we're having here today so yeah, yeah i started journalism in 2008 and uh, by the time i started as a student obviously by the time i graduated I went in full time and it was radio that I started off with. Okay. But I did a bit of magazine. I also worked with a newspaper, local newspapers within Port Harcourt before I started yeah. to dump all of them and focus purely on you know, radio and the work we do on the radio. And that's why my background as a content, uh, when it comes to journalism, it's, uh, is why I say that the concept of content, the way we've seen it today, started off with you know, the media world as we knew it Absolutely. before. Before it Absolutely. was ever called content. Some people were mandated yeah. to produce content. And funny mm. enough, it's done in such fast-paced way. You have deadlines to meet and you are there's a mandate on your creativity. <laughs> yeah, so, absolutely. Whether you like it or not, you cannot make anything up. It has to come from what's happening around you what people can do yeah. next week, what will start conversations, what will be very engaging. And that's mm. not something you can pretend about. That's something that your performance is, is your KPIs are heavily before everyone. Absolutely. <laughs> so there is Absolutely. no hiding under anywhere or hiding under anyone. So doing that for the past 10 years or there about 2008, 2021. So that's about 13 years. Ago. Yeah, okay, I'm counting. But what I'm trying to say is, doing it for those years is is naturally <laughs> made you a content potter. Let me just put it like that. Wow. So you wow. look, you're looking at a story. You're looking at your. You see content in everything because mm -hmm. your training as a journalist, they train you to have a what we call nose for news. Okay. Wow. So the mm. nose for news that we knew then is actually nose for content. We also content absolutely and, now. and so yeah. the concept of content i think that was actually what drew me to you know everything about content writing because mm. it's, um, it's so much like they upgraded journalism that's how i see it it's like an upgrade of journalism absolutely. okay because what we call content writing is what we used to do as article writing i used to be a columnist mm. for the magazine and almost what i had to put out for that magazine is what we call content writing today so everything Whoa. has evolved because you are serving an online audience. And so that's actually what changes the game. Okay. Yeah. So I found it as I found it quite smooth to switch and double into both because of my background. And it's been amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying myself. I also enjoy wow. helping people do it. First of all, yeah. I believe that everyone can write. Some people say I believe wrong, but I, I, I really, really believe everyone can write. As long as Absolutely. you can think, as long as you can, even if you can't talk, even if you're not able to talk, as long mm. as you think, you can write. Because when you look at the history of writing, yeah. writing is the oldest form of communication. Even before speech started, we started writing, we started making sounds, yeah. drawing on walls, trying to communicate. Absolutely. Okay, So yeah. that's why I believe that the, the, the very foundation of writing allows for everyone to write. 
Wow. Because when you look at the Bible, I'm a Christian. Yeah. I'm talking. When you look mm -hmm. at the Bible, you would see that the people that wrote the Bible, do you you can remember how how what they were like, what they were. Some of them were fishermen. Some of them yeah. were fishermen, some of them were businessmen, some of them were were not exceptional human beings in quotes. Yet yeah. Jesus called them to be his disciple and they were able to document their experience. They were not Absolutely. writers when they documented their experience, but they did it, isn't Absolutely. it? They Absolutely. Did. So for me, yeah. that's one proof that everyone and anyone can be a writer. Can be a writer. Mm. Okay? So yeah. just for, there are rules to it. There are things to focus on, but it can, it's, it's doable, it's possible. And that's what, I, that's mm. what I'm working with. So everyone and yeah. anyone that ever come into the newsroom where I work on Nigerian Info, yeah. either as an intern or as a staff, I always, I always get interested in impact, imparting in them what it is I have yeah. learned. Especially when you see interns who do not believe in themselves or who do not believe, I've never written a new news item before. I've never written before. Yeah. I've, I've never thought of it before. I said, you can do it. Just pay attention to the intricacies. And most times they leave a few months after, sometimes over a year after, really confident and go on to do i have some of them that you know they do good work on either fiverr on, mm. or upwork and they started off mm. with news content writing yeah okay. so mm. I'm, I'm really excited to be here let me not talk so much yeah. i'm excited to be here talking about performance accelerator especially when you yeah. think about my experience and mm. uh, um and and that's why i find it very exciting because when i was struggling with it I told God, if you help me figure things out, I will share how I did it. <laughs> so when you Absolutely. told me to come talk, up, talk about this, I just felt like, okay, yeah. yeah, I am going to openly share all that I think helped me to be able to deliver in all that I do, either as, as, as a journalist or yes. broadcasting. I, I actually delved into broadcasting fully. I started out with broadcasting, but I went into journalism did journalism for those years and then i'm back on air partially back on air i think one okay. year now consistently yeah. on air now about one year so yeah. yeah so now doing content writing being able to do all that switch and have results in all of them yeah there were lessons i learned and i'm excited to share <laughs> okay please 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 go ahead Joe. We're, we're, we're all ears please go ahead let's just quickly say um welcome everyone that has been joining uh thank you so much you, uh welcome thank you so much for joining us um choma is uh, dealing dishing out her stuff and uh, i'm sure everybody can't wait to learn from you so please just just go right ahead okay so i um where do i start let me start with the fact that we didn't have a lot of mentors as young journalists. Mm. Yeah. We didn't have, in fact, when we started our campus radio then in school, it was like, they called you, I remember, I think, okay, let me start with the fact that in my school at the time, not particular university, my okay. admission department weren't allowed to go for internship. There was nothing like internship. And then when mm. I gained admission, I was wondering, why would a key department like of this nature, where a huge bulk of the work is practical, and they don't have any mm. internship program going on, I decided that I was going to do one for myself. So I remember going to the head of department, and I told her that I wanted to use my long vacation to go work in a radio, in a broadcast house. And she yeah. was so impressed. And I wasn't, in there. I, wasn't, I wasn't looking to impress anyone. I was hoping for a letter so that it could be easier for uh, the broadcast houses to take me. And she was so impressed, you know, that, oh, imagine someone that thought about that. You know, why are students not thinking that? Ways of going to Galavant and waste their time at home. You know, she was really Absolutely. very particular about it then. And I was like, could it be that no one has ever done this in this department? Why is that even possible? I didn't believe that really. Anyways, I was glad to get my letter and I went to NTA at the time in Lagos, Victoria Island. Oh. And uh, I think I, I can always say that that's where I got trained when it comes to hands-on journalism, news oh. broadcast journalism. I got all the best of the training from all the big names at the time. Augusta Made Bunam, ah, oh. God, that's their names, uh, Ken <laughs> Jay Harry, all the beautiful names that we used to watch on TV then. On TV, I was able wow. to learn so much from them. Especially from Mrs. Augusta Madibunam, because she, she just she didn't just teach me broadcast journalism or news writing. She taught me 
how to how to what do i call it now how to marry all of them as a woman you're going to get married how do you manage a home and still do this mad of a job you know they call the newsroom the madhouse yeah. For a reason, <laughs> they call the news in the madhouse for a reason because it's not a place that you're you're. It's not for the faint-hearted. That's what I like to say. It's not for the faint. So you have to be, you, know, you have to be ready for what goes on in the newsroom. And so she taught me how exactly to manage all of that and not lose your mind, even before I started thinking of marriage or childbearing of and all of that. And I learned just within the space of I think three months or two months plus. It wasn't even up to three months, but I learned so much. Because I, 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 I shared my time and I had a, a I, I gave myself a, um, what they call it, a schedule of what I was going to be learning every single day. I knew I didn't have much time. So whoever yeah. had, whoever is in whatever school and had the internship program was obviously yeah. getting the edge over me. So I knew I had only two months and two months and two months and few yeah. days. Right? So I did not joke with my time all through the time I was there. I think in less than one week, they were allowing us to go out with camera. They were allowing wow. me to go out with camera and, and wow. the driver, and then I go cover reports and come back and couple it together in less than a week because I shared my time, okay? I told myself, yeah. I have two months here. So the first week, this is what I'm going to learn. Everything about mm. this is what I'm going to learn. The second week, so that way, I saw my progress. I saw my growth. And by yeah. the time I was going back to school, Remember, my HOD felt I was, I really impressed her. So, yeah. luckily for me, that was also the time that we're starting our campus radio. So, it felt like, where is that girl that went for an NTA internship? Where is that girl? <laughs> and then, remember, I wasn't doing it for anyone to notice me. I wasn't doing it for, I was doing it for myself. Because I knew Absolutely. that mass communication is a practical thing. I don't want to enter a studio as a graduate and be asking, what is this? When I introduced yeah, them as a graduate, yeah. and that was my motivation really at the time. So in in being a, in performance acceleration, you should have a motivation, a key motivation. Mm. Always know what's mm. behind your motivation. Maybe because you want it better than everybody, because it's not always about competition. It Absolutely. shouldn't always be about competition. It should always be about your your growth, professional growth, personal growth. Yeah. It should always be hand in hand, and that's been yeah. my own case. And so yeah. how they dragged us along and come, let's set, start this radio station. And so we were already being treated like a couple of my friends as well at the time who also were part of the campus magazine. They were yeah. teaching us like we knew what we were doing, even when we knew that we didn't know all of it. <laughs> but they were already teaching us like, okay, start, start, start. And to the extent that we were had convocation, our HOD will be bragging to the vice chancellor of how no, that you guys are going to cover it. <laughs> I can't <laughs> imagine. So we learned yeah. a lot of things. Like, you know, we learned on the job. We learned doing yeah. it. And it was fun. Wow. Like, when I graduated, where you gave confidence to me. Absolutely. gave me a lot of confidence. And, you know, I went on to NYSC. And then I went on to get the job that I'm doing now. And um, it just gave me a lot of confidence. Okay? I was, at some point... Probably the youngest editor, the youngest news editor. Wow. Okay, because it wasn't, yeah. yes, news editing was usually kept for the elderly the men. You know? Uh huh. Yeah. Like, maybe in their late 40s or something. But because I was really deliberate, and I forgot to mention someone who's always also key, played a key role. Um, what's that his name? Dr. Mbemena. He's, he's late now. He was one of oh. the pioneers of the news agency of Nigeria. And it was the lecturer mm. that taught me news editing. And I acknowledge wow. him today because I used to always go to him to ask questions. You know, news mm. editing class was a very boring class, I must be honest. You know, wow. like I said, mm. I always had my targets. I always had my goal. And so even when students are saying it's so boring, I knew I needed to learn this. And I knew why I needed to learn, to learn it at the time. I never joked to that class. And I would even go, go to him after class to get to understand exactly. And then he would tell me stories of his life in New York Times because he worked at New York Times. Wow. And so he gave wow. us, like, you know, he gave me those kind of conversations that he wouldn't, talk, he wouldn't, he wouldn't, he wouldn't even share in class. I was able That's... to learn that way. Mm -hmm. So that all that because he saw your own your own extra desire to learn and to and to pursue yes, the knowledge. You know that, mm -hmm. Yes, it validated the desire really. Okay, it validated Absolutely. the desire. So I think in performance acceleration, 
you should also look out for. Don't be ashamed or don't be, yeah, don't don't feel intimidated if you meet someone who really does good work or is has got where you are. Or just mm. look for mentorship. But like I said, when it comes to the path I wanted to work, mentorship was scarce. That's the truth. Wow. But one thing I did was when I see an aspect, like I told you about Mrs. Augusta Madebunam, who I saw and and admired how she was able to manage her home and manage the yeah. work. I, I, I got yeah. closer to her. I asked her questions. And I was not just learning the job. I was learning how she was you know, managing her marriage, her kids, wow. and everything. Mm. was, you know, seeing all of that. And I think yeah. that, that was also the time she turned 50. And she was telling me that she had been doing this job for the past 25 years. That was that, was that 2008. Okay? So I had so much. So she was actually willing and ready to share all of those on the ground tricks of managing yeah. your home and managing your kids. And then, of course, a demanding job. And yeah. um, so that's really a very important aspect. So when I couldn't find my mentor, because I have a lot of people these days who want to do what they want to do, there's nobody doing it yet. Mm. Because they are looking to marry maybe two different fields. Perhaps you're a medical doctor, and then now you want to delve into digital marketing, for instance. No, 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 no doctor is doing that yet. It's an entirely mm. new niche. Let me put it yeah. that. Okay, mm. so one of the things to learn is to look out for the people that are doing just aspects of what you want to do. Okay? Mm. And go ahead yeah. and learn from them ask questions and learn from them. yes yeah. and just draw draw the lessons that you can and add to what you're building okay mm. because perhaps you're even chatting your own course you're not you're blazing a trail and blazing a trail that means hard work so you don't go yeah. with the crowd you don't mm. you don't don't go with the crowd that part is also very important all right yeah so switching from i keep saying switching i'm not switching i'm doing <laughs> and writing that's writing for the online audience okay so all of them are content writing because content is very vast all right yeah content creation mm. is very vast and involves all there's so many facets to it uh -huh. so when we say content content writing it's actually everything about what you see in the newspaper what you see maybe the news that you see them reading every they're all content all of them content, and someone yeah. wrote, yes so they are all content writing so I like to differentiate it with online audience, writing for the online audience, mm -hmm. because that's Absolutely. where the new world started. <laughs> yeah. The moment internet was born, online audience, you know, emerged. And so yeah. writing for them, it was clear. Research and research and research kept on showing that we are going to have to do a different kind of writing for the people Absolutely. online. Number one is because their attention span, in fact, there's no more attention span. <laughs> no you're right as a, you 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 hit the nail right there on the head yeah. uh, and that that's why I, I was just like for, for me what you put out there is so powerful because you know what it means for for somebody to write something and then it grabs your attention that's what everybody is looking for right now because just like you said there's there's no there's no attention anymore there's there's no attention it it it, it used to be like a novel thing for you to write something so fancy and put it online because not so many people were doing it but now everybody is doing it i someone you i i, I used to always interestingly tell by some of my friends that the truth about it is that a motivational speaker your competition is not another motivational speaker your competition is somebody that is putting comedy skits out there your competition is a lady that is, is putting out a twerking video because most people oh, will, probably, <laughs> will probably go there to look at a twerking video to look at a comedy skit then look at that so called fancy motivational stuff. In fact, the lady that is putting out a tracking video, interestingly now, will put a copy that is motivational. So why should they listen to you that just put, wrote something and it's motivational and she that actually put a tracking video and even wrote something motivational on that. So for me, that's just so powerful. Um, what what you're saying, honestly, it's, it's just so powerful. Please uh, don't mind me, just go on. Yeah. <laughs> No, I, I, I totally agree with you. And that's why content, content, content creation in 2021 evolved. 
content creation yeah. changed, content creation evolved. Maybe because of the pandemic, maybe because we're at home for such a long time and we we owned the more the kind of content we wanted. Okay, maybe yeah. before before pre pandemic, we probably did not were too busy to say this is what we want and this is what by the time we're all at home, locked down all over the world, we Absolutely. could do lots and lots of content. And mm. it became clear that you actually have an option and you actually know what you want. And you actually so mm -hmm. a lot of things happened during the pandemic. A lot of things happened during the lockdown that has changed yeah. the way content is done in 2021. And that's mm. why you shouldn't stop reading. As a content creator, you shouldn't stop learning. Learning is every day, every day. Mm -hmm. And always check the date of what you're reading. If it's a book, check the date. Where was it written? Because you cannot mm -hmm. pick a book of 2020 or mm. 2019 or three years ago. The game has changed. And you just Absolutely. also confirmed it now that um, everyone has to dance to be able to... <laughs> Communicate <laughs> something these days. <laughs> do some kind of entertainment, okay? You know, this is, yeah. you, know, you said it was infotainment, and yeah. never have we ever called for. Uh, it's no longer infotainment. It's now enter entertainment info, entertainment wow. info, <laughs> and then info towards the ending, okay? So you mm -hmm. probably entertain, and then you mm -hmm. inform later. That's what, wow. that's what this year is demanding of wow. you know, uh, yes. both content marketers and brands and uh, people that want to build a personal brand. So it's wow. really, you know, it's really that, that thing is what content creators should always remember. Okay. So it starts with you identifying, it's not like everyone needs to dance. All right. But it starts with you yeah. identifying what exactly you want to sell because these days, you have to sell something. What are you selling? Yeah. Yourself? Are you, are you selling yourself? Are you selling your ideas? Are you selling products? Are you selling services? What exactly are you selling? And selling. so it, get, it helps you be deliberate. And that's why you should be deliberate. If you're on social media, deliberate. Be deliberate about being here. Be deliberate yeah. about being here. Don't just come and consume and consume and consume content. No. There has to be, you know, they say stagnant water stinks. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so don't be a stagnant water. There has to be a channel that lets it all out, what you have learned. And so that's where mm -hmm. you begin to define your brand. What kind of content do yeah. I want to be known for? What kind of content do I want? What kind of message? What's my message? What do I want to put out? What platforms? Who do I want to reach out to before you decide wow. on platforms? Okay? And for yeah. me, building my brand on all platforms, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook. I miss Twitter, but I used to also put out content on Twitter as well. Because yeah. of the probably because of the kind of work I do, so I've come to learn and understand the different audience, both online and offline. You know? Because at the end of the day, even when you're, even when you say you want to reach out to young people, for instance, there are times that they also would want to consume the really serious stuff. Mm. Okay, so it's now your ability to yeah. put the content in a way that speaks to them. Absolutely. So, yeah. So we look at the language. What language are you using? I was saying that one of the posts I did recently was something about British English, Nigerian English, and American English. Okay. Yeah. And that's also one of the reasons why some people don't listen to some radio stations because they, they, they speak, they speak a language that shows that they are not connecting or, um, how do I put it? They are so shubri, 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 yet they are not <laughs> communicating. To the Nigerian <laughs> audience, who wants to, who wants you to, you know, radio is personal. Yes, so communicate at his level. Yes, radio. Mm -hmm. You want to listen to radio and feel like the person is talking to you and only no. you. And yeah, when some people talk on radio, people can't relate. Yeah, we don't talk like that. We don't talk mm -hmm. unless you want to serve, you know, the people that speak shubri 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 shubri. <laughs> and that's why that's why Wazobia is number one. Wazobia FM mm. is number one because of the language. They are speaking the language of mm. people. And that's also mm. why Nigeria Info is number two because Nigeria Info is also not doing shubri 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 shubri. We are too busy mm. trying to communicate information to you in the way you understand it that we don't have time mm. to do shubri shubri shubri. Yet it doesn't mean that we do not observe phonetics. We observe them. Yeah. So even for the online audience, 
when you identify the kind of people that you want to be, be communicating mm. to, know their language and stick to their language. Know their language. Yeah. Absolutely. And if they are the elite, maybe they want you Queen's English. Then go ahead and Queen's it all the way. Okay. What is a random yeah. grand person? Speak, speak their language. Cruise. Yeah. What are those those, those uh, popular words? Cruise is one of the popular words these days. So uh, when you're writing, yeah. you must embed those words. Omo uh, what is Nigerian cruise. You know, when imagine starting a content okay. with Omo Nigerian cruise, somebody will just connect immediately. I want to know why you're saying that. All right. Absolutely. So, and then people flow from there. So mm. that's that's so uh, that's a, a really serious um, aspect of uh, that will help you perform better. Another thing I've better. also had people ask me is, you know, how to show up consistently on social media. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I was just getting to that. Um, I, I recently, there, there, there's a lady, she's an online course creator and um, online, online sales coach. And she put up a post, I think that was last week, and she said, I, it, 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 can, can everybody see what's going on? Instagram has become like TikTok. And after everything you have to do for your business, you put out the write-up and everything for your business. Now, Instagram expects you to do videos. You have to be dancing. This is said, look, I can't come and kill myself. I beg. I, I, I think this is getting too much. Will I be dancing and dancing every day just because I want to um, put out content consistently and all that. So that's actually, if I, you, you are just getting home, I, I, this is making so much sense, honestly, Chewa really make it so much sense like that's what many people want to do how do you deal with the overwhelm as it to be there consistently honestly <laughs> well the truth is that uh, when you've when you've gotten all of what i said initially out of the way the yeah. next thing is for you to have a plan a content plan, plan. you yeah. can get an expert to do it for you or you can go online and figure it out yourself that will take you a lot of time but if you think you mm -hmm. have all the time in your hands Go ahead, yeah. go on, on YouTube, go on uh, Quora, go on Quora, go on YouTube, and you can help people put out tips on how you can actually do your own content plan. The, the plan yeah. will have, you can do like a monthly plan. I like to do like a monthly plan. Yeah. I already have my plan for August, like exactly or exactly what I'm going to be doing for the month of August. So it gives you an idea of a flow of what you want to do. Yeah. All right. Yes. And, um, that also will help you with consistency when you have mm. a plan. And the plan is where your strategy comes in. Why are you putting out the kind of content you want to put out in August? What's going to happen to September if that is what you want to put out in August? What's mm. going to happen in October? If you're going to... So it depends on, depending on what you do. Okay. Yeah. Excuse me, for instance, who is dwelling i'm dwelling and feasting on everything digital marketing and for this era is content writing i'm, I'm talking on and yeah. um, throughout this period that's what i'm going to do throughout this period that's what i'm going to do everything about content writing helping people yeah. figure it out like the, the, yeah. the what you just narrated now of business owners they are my focus in the month of october i'm sorry in the month mm. of august Putting okay. out content for the people that really need content writing. Online businesses, journalists, uh, uh, students, fresh graduates, people looking for side hustles that they can hold on to while they get the real paying job, okay? Absolutely. Not that content yeah. writing is not a paying job. Content writing is a full-time job for a lot of people. Job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. So it's actually a plan that gets you to, you know, wake up in the morning and you're not wondering what am I going to post today. No. You already know what you're going to post today. Okay? Let me use something for instance where maybe you tell you maybe your plan for tomorrow is a funny video. Okay? Absolutely. A funny video. And that's why you should use that's also why I use TikTok these days. TikTok has proven to me to be a veritable tool for content creation. creation. So you know you want to do a funny video, but you don't know where the funny video is going to come from. Just go on TikTok. <laughs> Absolutely. And play around. Okay, mm. that is what I do. I go on TikTok and then I, I search I search content writing on TikTok. Wow. And then see what other content writers mm. or in your case, content creators. Okay, within mm. your niche. And then you yeah. see what all of them are doing. Okay? Well that's see, that's that's powerful. <laughs> yes, you see what all of them are doing, you see how they are doing it. 
and you see how mm -hmm. they're communicating. Yeah. And, um, of course, you're not going to copy anyone because you already understand your brand. You already understand Absolutely. your own audience and you already know the language you want to use. Okay? So but it's having yeah. those three in mind at least, there are so many others. Well, having these three in mind, you already know what to replicate, not copy. Mm -hmm. You already know what to replicate. Absolutely. Replicate, to, not copy. Yes. Mm -hmm. To now create your own content for the funny video that you're going to post tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So it's always good that you think ahead of it. Mm -hmm. right? And, you know, that way. So it, it, TikTok, TikTok is not a place to burn your data. Like people say, TikTok burns data. <laughs> <laughs> <Is it? laughs> it's actually a well of content ideas. Mm. There they are people. There are people doing every aspect of. You know, there's something I I, I always tell people, uh, or rather, when we talk about building confidence for aspiring writers, one of the things we identified is that. They, uh, they are losing, they don't have confidence in their writing because perhaps they feel like someone has said what they want to say. Okay? Someone has said yeah. it before, so why say it again? Mm -hmm. But there's something amazing about your voice, whether it's in writing or in speaking. There's something mm -hmm. amazing, and that's why we have so many churches. Okay? Or they preach the same message of, let's say, forgiveness, and you don't catch it until so the likes of maybe Ibiomir preaches it. Preaches it. Okay, Absolutely. even the message of love, for instance, for some preachers, they preach it so well. Okay, but yet preaching love, love, they've been preaching love for years, even before that preacher was born. So what's mm -hmm. really different is because of the of their voice. God gave us all unique voices, all of us. Voices. And so that's mm. also the same thing for content creation. So that you've seen someone doing what you're doing, shouldn't stop you from doing it. Mm. Because you're serving Absolutely. a different audience, even if it's funny skits. Have you noticed that there are still some comedians you don't connect with? Absolutely. Yet Absolutely. Them, you, you, you can't relate. Okay? Yeah. Yet, even then, there are some of them that are not even popular. But you can so connect and, you know, you, you, you feel so at home, you know, watching yeah. what they put out. So that's the same thing. You don't know who is waiting to finally understand yeah, yeah. this thing called maybe content writing, for instance. Like, I never knew that I was making such an impact. I must really be honest now. I never knew yeah. that the impact was, had grown yet until I put out this class. And the kind of... Uh, I'm going to be putting out the testimonials going forward. I've only put out yeah. one. And they are unsolicited testimonials. I'm not mm, asking yeah. for you to mm. please. No. But these are things I've yeah. done over the years, helping people to know that you can do this thing, you can do this thing. See? There is no skill that cannot be learned. There's a lot of potential. Every human being has potential. I used to be a classroom teacher. <laughs> I used to be a classroom teacher um, wow. for service years. I would do my show. I'll do my my my, sh my 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 show was I think 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. at the time. And okay. then and then so I had my entire morning doing nothing. And so I needed to mm. keep busy. So I, I I picked up a teaching. Uh, a teaching job close to my job, house. Yeah. So I'll go. And the first job they gave me was kindergarten the kids. And that wow. was so I did that so well according to the owner of the school. And she moved me to wow. her, her uh, what they call it, transition class. That's a primary grade five. The primary five okay. grade five. And one of the first school, things okay. I taught them when I first started was I told them to to always know that God, nobody, nobody was made, nobody was uh, born dumb. Everyone was mm. born with the potential to be anything. <laughs> like you're born and you're on an empty cup, it's not left for you to fill it. And what you're filling it is exactly what is going to be presented to the world. All right? So well, that's the mm. same thing I was, I was also telling the, ki the kids. So that they should allow me to fill them with knowledge that would transcend you, it to go beyond passing exams. It will go yeah, be absolutely. impressing your parents. It will, it will evolve you as an adult. And that was, we did all, I always did motivational talks for them <laughs> just before we start the class. And it got the attention. Yeah. You, know, you, know, you know how classes are now. They will have the, yeah. the, the, the ones that are serious minded in front and the ones that came to play at the back. <laughs> <laughs> so by the time we finished all that process, it got them really interested, you know. 
yes. but they're too close. And so that's the same thing mm-hmm. I say in uh, I said to people, even when I'm no longer a class teacher. I said the yeah. same thing to, to the people that I, I communicate with. There is nothing that you want to learn that you cannot learn. Whether it's content Absolutely. creation, content writing, copywriting, any form of the aspects of communicating online that you want mm. to do. Well, just give it time, follow the right people, and build, and gradually you'll get there. Okay? Yeah. There is nothing to be, you know, there's nothing to be, don't, don't feel frustrated. Because frustration comes when you're comparing yourself, you know, to someone mm. like you, Absolutely. for instance. I, I opened your page and I was like, you have 6,000 followers. I you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know and, uh, Absolutely. I got inspired. Really, I yeah. got inspired. Yeah. I'm still at 4,000. And I, I got yeah. 6,000 after a very yeah. long time. Yeah. <laughs> because it's a journey, figuring this thing out, figuring out how Absolutely. to really grow on Instagram, especially. Hmm. So I, I really think everything is possible. You can you can up your game and you can you can get the results you desire. Just pay attention to the right things. Ask yourself mm. what's next. Always ask yourself what's next. So whether it's what's building next? building something online or building it mm. offline, what's next? Always what's be next? in the present and ask yourself what's next. What can I control? You know, mm. people that, that that wake up in the morning on Instagram decide that their caption will not work that day. Mm. So you don't you don't go frustrated over what you cannot control. Stick mm. with what you can control. Okay, what Absolutely. can you control? Creating content. Okay, mm. setting up a backup page. Okay, mm. uh, what else can you do about the likes of? Okay, setting up a backup page and communicating often with your audience, so that when something a pattern, I forgot to say that have a pattern. Okay, don't post any time of the day. Post every 9 a.m., depending on what your insights show you. When you go on your insights mm-hmm. on Instagram, you would see where exactly that your, that when, when your followers are mostly online. Active, yeah. Mm. Yes, and so that's the best time to post. And always mm. post at that time. Mm. When there's a pattern, even days you can't meet up, either because the internet was down or for whatever yes. reason, but because there's a pattern, you will get a message on your DM, someone asking you how far. Well, no, you know, if that happens to me, I'll get someone yeah. asking me that because I post 9 a.m. every day. Mm. Wow. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> awesome. Awesome, Joa. This, this is so, so, so beautiful. So awesome. Um, you, I had already prepared questions that I was going to ask you, but you've basically touched on everything <laughs> that that I, I was going to ask you. Honestly, I, I'm serious. Every single thing I was going to ask you, you've, you've touched on them, and it just shows how much that, how much of your heart you really just brought into this, just to pour out and to share. And honestly, for that, I'm I'm really really so grateful. Um, thank you everyone that has been joining in. And I'm sure you guys have been getting so much from everything that Choma has been sharing. I don't know if anyone has any questions for her. Um, you can please just put it up there so that she can uh, quickly answer it and attend to it. Um, I think uh, at, at this point, Choma, um, please just um, let us know about the course so that for anyone that wants to join, just like I said, for me, it was a no-brainer. Immediately, I saw the ad. I just said, look, I have to do this. I have to learn from you. You are a professional. You always get my attention. I have to learn from you. Um, just like you said, we are always learning. We are always growing. I really want to add to my own repertoire of knowledge the few things that I know, and that's why I signed up for that course. So please, um, just because maybe there are some people that haven't actually seen the ad on your page um, because i'm also going to be posting this video on so, some other platforms so that they can just know um what the course is about um how did they join and how did they sign up for it okay thank you so much Kyle, for giving me your platform to advertise <laughs> <laughs> All right, absolutely so about content writing because okay. uh, at the foundation of every content creation is writing you cannot ignore text. No matter how popular, 80% of content today is video, they say, but still you need a caption. When you post, Absolutely. you need a caption. Text is very important. Mm. Whether it's one word or two words, 
you have to be deliberate about what you what the text is if you're looking mm. to engage if you're looking to have that content that you put in so much effort creating make impact. absolutely and so that's where content writing comes in so i teach content writing that's like i said I, like i shared earlier that's what i've done all my life so i'm going to teach all that i have ever learned i said i was going to pour in my heart and someone was asking me how do you plan to pour in your heart in one day <laughs> and i tell them i actually have set out an outline okay we have yeah. i've actually created let me see if i can find where did i keep it i've actually created an outline on how exactly i'm going to do that because it's, it's, yes it's one class but um we have an after i you know the q a when when the impact is made and then we allow you digest it and then the q and a continues like they say in clubs and parties your mama calls <laughs> <laughs> exactly so, yes yeah, so that's actually how we want to put it out the first of it would be would be introduction to content writing because like i said some people are not quite clear exactly what content writing is what's the difference between content writing and copywriting what's exactly Absolutely. is content writing what is not content writing okay so yeah and and everything about introduction to content writing the the goal of that particular one is for you to look out on social media next time and identify oh this is this content and that is mm. that content and that content. is that type of content writing it's because there are so many types of content writing okay so that's mm. what we've been in the first one and then we'll look at the rules of content writing there are rules of course everything sensible and reasonable has rules just like football there are rules right so that's the same Absolutely. thing there are rules to this thing and some of us are not making impact yet because we are breaking all the rules <laughs> mm -hmm. we're not, we not following you know the rules but i always say that even if you want to think outside the box you have to identify the box before the box can, first Absolutely. yes <laughs> you have to, before you can think outside it so that's actually what that topic will be handling the rules of content yeah. writing Mm. I also have the structure. Um, a lot of people, yeah, they have done, you know, research and they've done a lot of things and then they have content, but they don't know how to structure it. Okay. Yeah. So I'm teaching how you can structure your content, how exactly content. it's done. Have I missed anyone? I can't find the... Mm. Anyways, it's going to be on my page, of course. It's going to be yeah. on my page, yeah, the outline. So I'm also teaching uh, uh, how to do research. You know, I just showed you one of the ways that I do my own research when it comes to content yes, ideas, going on mm -hmm. TikTok on and TikTok, how yeah. actually get what people are doing there. You know, so everything about researching for your work, no matter what the topic is, okay? Mm. So of course, even go as far as Amazon reviews, okay? You go to Amazon review. Let's say someone said, like, like uh, let's say people that do skin products, for instance, that put out yeah. products on Instagram. There's one common error they make they just you know snap the product very fine photo very beautiful lighting perfect everything you know it's yeah. to attention and they just put out the contents there but the write-up just says uh buy now DM now. This no. one, that one <laughs> that's something called product review okay and Absolutely. it's not just done for websites it's also very important especially for instagram okay and then some of them have an idea but they write it in such a boring way that they don't hit mm. your pain point. Okay? Yeah. Because we all have pain points. For every of their audience looking to fix a skin problem, there's a pain point. So if you're putting mm. out a product, for instance, let's say a spot remover, you don't write, here is a spot remover, our top-notch spot, spot remover. <laughs> Catch, get it. DM now. Uh, what's that thing again they say? Um, uh. DM now. No refund wanting. They're always very rude about the whole plenty rules. Yeah. <laughs> and if you learn content writing, you will know that you, you know you know what what can sell that product. You will know Absolutely. the kind of story, no matter how short it is, that you can tell. And even if it's just few five captions, few words that you put into the caption, how you can get the right person's attention. Okay. Absolutely. That's actually what we're doing there. The research yeah. part, and of course. Um, structure let me remember all that i put there but mm -hmm. then basically the business of content writing because some of them right. by the time we finish going through the class most times they are interested in earning even if you already have a business
Maybe you're writing a business or you're you learning writing. content writing for yourself. Some people get quite mm -hmm. interested in making money with the knowledge they have acquired. And so we, that's Absolutely. why I had the class as a last class, the business of content writing. Content and so writing. we teach you how you can make money, where you can make money, how much you can charge. And that's where the awesome. coaching starts. At. So even awesome. though the class is one day, you can get to, I can help you build a portfolio that the next time a client reaches out to you and asks, can I see your work? Which is what mm -hmm. most people don't have most times. We yeah. have a platform where we can help you publish your work. We help you. First of all, I can edit your work. For everyone that reaches out for the class, for when I'm done teaching you the content writing, you have some assignments to do. When you bring them mm -hmm. on, the best of the work we publish on our platform and we can help you build your portfolio from there. So the next time someone asks you, send me a link of your work. You can send work, the link absolutely. and build your portfolio from there. And, you know, just awesome. basic hand-holding until you can run on your own. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> that that's that's um, um awesome choma um so the anyone that wants to register um the the link right is right there on your bio right they can just uh um, okay um sorry can you hear me i think the network i can hear you okay i i said so anyone that wants to register they can just the link is right there on your bio right they can just go and click on the link right i'm right there and, and the, first time, the, the, the class is 10,000 Naira. But like I still told you earlier, I recently hit 4,000. So I slashed it again just to celebrate mm -hmm. till July it's... 31. And um, it's 5,000 Naira till July 31. And from 1st of August, it goes back to 10,000 Naira. Because uh, I have to how... do more than that. Well, how, how awesome is that, right, guys? So um, I guess the, nobody has any excuse Please do well. Just, um, just like I was trying to say, I have already signed up for Choma's Right to Sell uh, class. Please do well. It's very, very important, either for your personal brand or for your business brand. You need this stuff. And so I will, I, I'm not going to ask you to do something that I'm not doing. I'm, I've already done my, I've already done my re registration. Please do well. Go. <clears throat> excuse me, go on her page and um, sign up for this class and I'm sure you will definitely, definitely uh, be grateful that you did. Uh, thank you so much, Yoma, for everything that you have shared with us this evening. Thank this you. has been so, so, so impactful, so, so powerful. I can't thank you enough. Uh, I just want to thank everyone too that has joined us this evening. You guys are awesome. You guys are the best. Uh, I was asking for questions, but no one has asked any questions. So I guess um, there are no questions. And well, if you have any other questions, you could also DM me or you could DM Choma and I'm sure she will very well be able to i should be so glad to explain to you how you can join the course or any other questions that you have i'm sure she'll be glad to also explain i just want to quickly share with everyone that um this is get your energy back and performance accelerator um just like choma shared learning does not stop it's always ongoing and it's so important that you have a community like this where you are aware of trainings courses and things that are available to help you grow as a professional and that's why we i have to get your energy back group on facebook you can just go on facebook get your energy back group search for it and join that group so that you can get more information and stuff like this that can help you to grow as a professional and also help you to grow personally uh, so that's why i say thank you so much Omar. just before you go i just have one last question just to ask you uh you are a journalist um into media so i know you interview a lot of people um recently you interviewed um a name just escaped my mind of the may may uh singing group the singing star yeah. uh yes um sorry honey erica campbell is it absolutely yes i remember now and that's the one question just for fun i said i was going to ask you is if you could interview anybody in the world right now if you could interview anybody in the world right now who would that be journalists <laughs> 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 ah, are always hungry for such interviews <laughs> let me see. Mm. anybody in the world maybe oprah oprah oprah, oprah winfrey oh, awesome so much <laughs> Yeah. She's, 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 she's still the woman to interview. You, her interviewing also. skills, I like her interviewing skills, how she's able to draw out the right emotions that helps her create the best of content. 
Okay. Absolutely. So yes, absolutely. she's definitely the one. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, those are to say thank you. Thank you so much, Yoma, for, for doing this. Um, I'm so, so grateful. Um, I'm sure all the guys that have joined this evening too, <clears throat> they are so grateful for everything um, that you have shared. This is not definitely the last time that we're going to be doing this. I'm looking forward to us still doing uh, this again because this has really, really been blessed and so many people are out there too as, as well. I uh, just want to say thank you. Wish everybody a beautiful week ahead, a great and awesome week ahead. I don't know if you have any parting words for us, Choma. <laughs> yeah. Parting words, polish your content, don't give up on it. Keep doing Absolutely. it, keep doing it. It gets better with time. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Choma. Have a great and a blessed week. I will talk you again very, very soon. Thank you so much. Bye for thank now. You. Thank you for having me. Thank you.